standard description of how our political system works how democracy works, assumes that individual voters spend a lot of time and trouble figuring out which candidates are good, which programs are good, what policies the government should follow, and then they vote for the candidates who are in favor of the policies that will make, produce good results, that will make the country prosper. That's sort of an implicit assumption if you think of sort of the high school civics class description of democracy. But then you think a bit about it and you say, well, why should I go to all that trouble? I know that as a single voter, my chance of determining the outcome of the election is very close to zero, probably about one in 10 million, roughly. It isn't worth my spending a lot of time and effort investigating the issues in exchange for one chance in 10 million of affecting the outcome. Given that that's the case, most people won't. Uh, and the result is a system where the average voter can't name his congressman even though the way we usually describe democracy assumes that he not only knows his congressman, but every vote he's made over the last two years. So that's a respect in which our political system is not incentive compatible. And that's one of the reasons it doesn't work very well. It doesn't tell you if there's any better way, but it does tell you that there's a, a serious problem in getting uh, government to do the things you would like it to do.